Chaksu in Melitan, Mimotas, my Sri Guru Bainamaha, Sri Chaitanya, no beast, I'm stuck it on the name of the Lord, but the Tam, my young, the Tat is not to come. The Ma Om, Vishnu, but I, Krishna, Prasthai, but the Lay, Shima Pilak, Tiganat, the Swami, Kinam, and the States, or the Pidei, or Vani, the Charity, New Jersey, said Sunyavadi. Pastyat Yuri Sutaine Panchakalpa to Vishya, people send up the eight which are the Titan and Pavan and Go, Vaishnava, Yona, Mahon, Maha Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, the Bumitananda, Sri Vaita Gadakar, Sri Vasa, the Gora, but the Hare Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Prabhupada Kijai. So today we'll uh, investigate a little bit about the second verse of Chaitanya Shikshastakam, Shikshastakam. Uh, for the last three days, we've been exploring an overview along with the first verse. If you all recall, um, <clears throat> the last two days we uh, mentioned and discussed the seven main benedictions that were mentioned in the first verse of Shikshastakam. And by understanding these and remembering them, we develop faith in the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. <clears throat> and that faith inspires us to continue with to develop our chanting more and more. Now, and you'll see how this second verse is connected to the first verse. Because in the first verse, the glories of the Holy Name from different angles of vision, or you might say different categories are mentioned. And then now, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu changes a little bit of his mood, and he's in a mood of a conditioned soul when he's chanting these particular <coughs> slokas. And he, he actually goes from a conditioned soul to a liberated soul as he goes through the different stages which are very successfully delineated in the uh, Shikshastakam prayers, verse after verse. So you'll see how this, these prayers are progressive, moving from faith all the way up to love of God, pure love of God. So in the second verse, after glorifying the Lord, the Lord says, Nam Nam Akari Bahudani Jisarva Shaktish. The Tarpita Niyamita Smarane Nakalaha Etad Srita Vakripa Bhagavan Mamapi Dordaivam Idrisham Tihajani Nanu Ragaha. So then in the translation you'll see how he continues to glorify the holy name, but then watch as the verse changes. My Lord, O Supreme Personality of Godhead, in your holy name there is all good fortune for the living entity. And therefore you have many names such as Krishna and Govinda by which you expand yourself. You have invested all your potencies in those names and there are no hard and fast rules for remembering them. My dear Lord, although you bestow such mercy upon the fallen conditioned souls by liberally teaching your holy name. So here he gives light uh, the glorification and more and more of the benedictions of the holy name. But then in the last sentence, he says something else. And he says, yeah, although all of these things are there, the, the Lord's good fortune, there's no rules, there are no regulations, there's, there's no restrictions. The holy name is very merciful. It's easily available. Still, and you also are eagerly giving your holy name. Still, 
He says, I am so unfortunate that I commit offenses while chanting the holy name. Therefore, I do not achieve attachment from chanting. So here we go. This verse describes what is called anartha nivritti. The first three verses, adasarasara, sadhu sangha, and bhajana kriya, are the first three stages as described by Rupa Goswami in the latter of pure devotional service. Bhajana Kriya really means initiation. And then after initiation, then comes getting rid of the unwanted uh, blocks that block our, and then there are, there are 16 uh, anarthas. There are four categories of four, and then we'll discuss them in tomorrow's verse. I mean, tomorrow's class, and we'll continue with this verse, and tomorrow I'll give you a overview of those 16 uh, anarthas. But then he's focusing on one category of anartha. Here he says, offenses. I commit offenses while chanting the holy name. So we know that there is 10 offenses against the holy name of the Lord. Srila Prabhupada was very uh, diligent to make sure that practically every initiation ceremony that he gave, he gave a speech along with the ceremony. And in that speech, he had the uh, 10 offenses recited. The devotees would recite the offenses and sometimes Prabhupada would go through each of the offense giving an explanation. And this is done even by Prabhupada's um, initiated disciples who were in a position of giving Diksha also, many times they, when they give initiation, they always recite these 10 offenses. Because bhakti works in such a way is that there are things to do and there are things to avoid. And that's called uh, vidis. Vidis means things to do and anishetas means things to avoid. In trying to practice Krishna conscious, one has to be very much aware of what we have to avoid. Um, this seems to be a pitfall that devotees fall into, that they're very uh, astute in knowing what to do, but they have a tendency to make mistakes by committing offenses or doing the wrong things, which waters down the effects of their progress. So here, Nam is very merciful. Nam is powerful. Here, Lord Chaitanya says, you have so many names like Krishna and Govinda. Now, in the Acharya's explanation of this verse, they explain that Krishna has two categories of names. And they are called primary names and secondary names. Lord Chaitanya here is mentioning primary names, Krishna, Govinda, Gopinath, Madan, Mohan, uh, Shamsundar. Uh, the names that refer to Krishna's qualities, his pastimes, his forms, these names are primary names. And there, therefore, one can chant these names and get much benefit. The secondary names are in line with Krishna's uh, connection with Vishnu as he comes in contact, not that comes in contact, but as he deals with managing the material energy. And these are names such as Paramishwara, Param Brahman, God, uh, what's another name? Um, Ishwara, Brahman, uh, in other words, those names that are uh, of his functional attitude, of functional activities in relationship to the material energy like that. So those names we don't chant. But still, when you say Paramishwara, you refer to the Supreme. When you say Param Brahman, you refer to the Supreme. When you say God, you're referring to the Supreme. But these names are not part of any mantras that are recommended for any kind of chanting. 
So one has to chant the primary names. And these names are in relationship to his Nam, Rupa, Guna, and Lima. And these names are very dear to the hearts of the devotees. Krishna is full of ras. He is called rasa vaisa. Rasa means mellow. Mellow means a type of mood. In that mood, there is sweetness. And therefore, there is different moods. So these names in the different categories, such as nam, rupa, guna, or lila, are full of transcendental sweetness and ras. Ras means uh, a taste. And that's the best the, cl the closest word you can find in the definition of the word rasa is mellow. There's no closer word. Mellow means a certain feeling of uh, happiness, a different kind of mellows. But uh, oh, another word is taste. The taste that the living entity gets in contact with Krishna. So Krishna is full. Now here, one has to very carefully avoid the 10 offenses to chanting the holy names. And uh, we'll go through the offenses and I'll mention them today. The first offense is to blaspheme those devotees who have dedicated their lives to the propagation of the holy name of the Lord. The second offense is to consider demigods like Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma to be equal to or independent of the name of Lord Vishnu. Three, to disobey the orders of the spiritual master. Four, is to blaspheme Vedic literatures or literatures in pursuance of the Vedic version. That means other literatures that are may not be uh, within the context of Vaishnava literatures, but they are still spirit. They are still holy books. They may be. They may also be part of uh, the the Christian scriptures or the uh, Islamic scriptures. In other words, those uh, activities that glorify the name, the glorify the Lord. Uh, the fifth offense is to uh, consider the chanting of the holy names of the Lord as imagination. The sixth offense is to, cons to give some interpretation on the holy name of the Lord. The seventh offense is to commit sinful activities on the strength of chanting the holy name. The eighth offense is to consider the ritualistic activities that are mentioned in the Vedas, the Karmakanda sections of the Vedas, to be equal to the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. The ninth offense is to instruct the faithless persons about the glories of chanting Hare Krishna. And the tenth offense is to not have complete faith in the chanting of the holy names and to maintain material attachments despite hearing so many instructions on this matter. There's also the 11th offense, which is called the, uh, called Madha. Madha means madness. And this is the 11th offense is, mean, is to um, chant in the tent of in attentive chanting. Now, Bhakti Vinod Thakur very carefully explains that this chanting inattentively can lead to the, the committing of the other offenses. So he says, well, for one who chants attentively, then it's very unlikely that they will commit any of the other 10 offenses. It reduces the tendency to commit those 10 offenses. 11th offense is kind of like a pivotal offense. One should follow that very carefully. And as Bhakti Vinoda Kaur says, here is where you can put your attention. If you want to make progress in chanting of the holy name, he says, here is where you do it. Um, we'll speak about um, there are offenses to the deity. 
And that doesn't nece necessarily mean only for those who do puja. It means those who come and participate in tem temple activities, one can commit offenses in the temple room in front of the deities. There is offenses, ten offenses to the holy name. We just mentioned them. And the get, getting rid of the reactions from those offenses means to continually chant the holy name. So by continuous chanting of the holy name, one can carefully give up, gradually give up, the, the effects of these offenses. Okay, and then there is offenses to Vaishnavas, and then there's offenses to people in general. So these are the four categories of offenses and uh, are four, yes, yeah, subcategories of the, of the category of offense. So one has to be very careful. So Lord Chaitanya here is speaking about the offense of, of the holy name. So Srila Prabhupada and the Acharyas recommend that if one is committing that offense, they should sit down and just chant Hare Krishna and continue to chant for an extended period of time. Gradually, the taste for chanting will come back. And at the same time, one will be removing themselves from the effects of uh, these offenses. The mantra, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, is a call. The word Hare comes from the word Hara, which uh, the word Hare is the vocative. The vocative means the calling. So when we say Hare Krishna, we're calling Krishna. O Radha, O Krishna, O Rama. So it's a calling. It's not simply uh, a chant. So, the, so Srila Prabhupada emphasizes the mood of chanting. He said one should chant like a baby cries out for its mother. The baby knows only the mother and nothing else. And therefore, when the baby gets separated from the mother, or for whatever reason, the baby will start crying and the mother will recognize and come. So in the same way, one should call for Krishna in the mood of helplessness as a helpless child calls out for his mother. The child is helpless. The child cannot bring about the mother on its own efforts. It simply has to cry and the mother hears and comes. So when Krishna sees we are sincerely calling out for him in devotion, he comes. And that is his mercy. Uh, in order to get free from the reactions of sinful activities, especially offenses, one has to be sorry for their sins. And this is a, something that is required. This is called, in the Christian tradition, it's called contrition. Contrition means a contrite. Contrite means packed up. In other words, one feels very unhappy, at the same time very low, because I have left Krishna, I was in the spiritual world with Krishna, everything was so wonderful. Somehow or other, I left you, Krishna, I'm in this material world, I'm trying to be happy here in so many ways, and now I understand none of these ways are going to make me happy, I want to get back to you, so please lift me up. That's, that's one of the ways we should pray in order to get relief from our offenses. Okay, the second verse is very important. And then, of course, this is a beautiful verse that's mentioned in the 14th chapter of the 10th canto. Patenu kampam shishamikshamanam bujana one, my dear Lord, one who earnestly waits for you to bestow your causeless mercy upon him, 
all the while patiently suffering the reactions of his past misdeeds and offering you respectful basis within his heart, words, and body, with his heart, words, and body, is surely eligible for liberation because it's become his rightful claim. Well, that verse, Prabhupada, also connects it with the chanting of the holy name. All right, so we'll stop here and tomorrow we'll uh, go into um, the categories of the anartas, what the anartas are, so we can understand how to move forward in our Krishna consciousness. Thank what to avoid. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj, for a wonderful class. Uh, it was really nice listening this about the offenses, like, uh, mainly because that always worries, I think, every one of us. Uh, devotees, if you have any questions or comments, please unmute yourself or maybe type it in the chat box. Thank you. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Maharaj. Maharaj, I had a question from yesterday's verse, uh, but, and then I think it has linked to today's verse uh, very nicely, but I, I, I thought I, I'll still go ahead and ask. So the, we, we discussed about Pratipadan Purna Amrita Swadhanam, where it is ever fresh, name is ever fresh, and uh, the devotional service uh, that we do, uh, you know, it gives you uh, pleasure and taste mm -hmm. at every uh, every moment. So my question was, and I was discuss uh, this is the question I had, I had before, is why do we feel that things are monotonic and they feel like chore sometimes in devotional service mm -hmm. and they don't feel and appear fresh? Is it because that we don't feel that this newness because we are not following the process properly or are we not there yet? Uh, and that's why we, we have a taste, but not the freshness. But I guess uh, in this verse, uh, it says that we are chanting offense with offense, and hence this could be the reason. But it would be nice yeah, that's, if you can. That, that's one of the reasons. The other reason is to cultivate the mood of devotion in the activities we perform. If we're not conscious of why we're doing what we're doing, and to do it in that mood of devotion, we can easily. And this is something I, I naturally say, we easily fall into the category of mechanical activities. That can also be done with mechanics in our chanting too. When things become routine, so we set up a schedule and then we follow the schedule. So we become more interested in the schedule rather than what we're doing. And that becomes the cause of this mechanical arrangement. So one has to cultivate the proper mood of devotion while one is doing that. And of course, if one is chanting nicely and is getting a taste, developing a taste for chanting, then that's what this particular statement says that every, at every step, one is getting newer and newer realizations on their, on their relationship with Krishna and on their level of practice in devotional service. Does that help? Yes, Maharaj, yes. Did you have anything further on it? <laughs> no, Maharaj, I think the mood, uh, then the question again comes, how do we develop that mood? Uh, that mood can again. be developed by reading, by chanting, by serving. When we start understanding that this, the activities we're performing are not part of this material world, they're actually Goloka Prima Dan Haninam Shankirtan. That this 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 entire process of bhakti, especially Harinam Sankirtan, is descending onto the material energy from the spiritual world. It's nothing ordinary. To enter into that mood means to develop, as Rupa Goswami explains, one has to be practicing the mood of serving Krishna for the pleasure of Krishna. So at least there should be some conscious awareness that this is 
that we we want to do it nicely for Krishna. Yes, Maharaj. Is a constant okay. reminder. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Please uh, accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Shila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Maharaj. Maharaj, like as Mahaprabhu has mentioned in this verse, in the last line, uh, that I am so unfortunate that I am committing offenses while chanting the holy name. So he is, of course, is speaking on behalf of fallen soul. Uh, he acknowledging that it's really, really difficult to come out of this offenses. How to really like think and really work on it, Maharaj? Well, the long, the longer the term the offenses are been developing, the harder it is to get out. When someone falls into something and they, they immediately become aware of their situation, then it's more quicker. But if some, if, if we develop a, a wrong pattern in our devotional service, say we chant inattentively for many years, then even though you get all the instructions you need, and even the association, you still can't get out of that inattentive chanting because you have put yourself into that pattern. You develop a pattern. So we also develop a pattern in, in other activities we do, how we do it, how we approach it. So we have to see if that pattern is in line with the, the teachings of the spiritual master. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. I also would like to share one thing, like uh, in one of the class you mentioned that while we are chanting, we should try to focus on the sound, like where it's originating and it helps in attention. And that has really helped me, uh, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's the main thing, to hear the sound. Papa said, just hear, that's all. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Dear Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to Guru Dev. Thank you for this class on the second verse and the importance of attentive chanting. Guru Maharaj, I find that when I'm chanting in the morning, somehow I'm able to muster up tension a little bit better. But if I have to chant, say, extra rounds, then afternoon, it's not so great. And evening, it's definitely not the same quality. And uh, I don't know whether because of the change in the timings of the day and different modes are operating or whether I'm just making that excuse um, to not chant properly. So how to address this and make it good quality chanting? Practice. <laughs> Practice. Know what to avoid and know what to apply. Practice makes perfect. We are giving the instructions. You know, someone asked me the other day how we get into this mood of everything is so fast. Uh, we expect fast results from everything we do because the world works that way. You can go on, you can go on the computer online and you can go shopping. You don't even have to go out of your house. You can buy everything you need online. And after some time, somebody knocks on your door with all your groceries. So you got mm, fast groceries. Anything we want, we generally can get pretty quickly. That's the way the world is set up. But that doesn't work with Krishna consciousness. One has to practice and uh, introspect or critique oneself to see where I'm doing good I'm, I'm doing it in a positive way and where I'm not and, what, and then 
working on trying to eliminate those things. So in part of making our progress, we have to really be determined to see, evaluate, understand where we have gone off or where we don't, we don't need this or where we need, we could bring this on and this would bring us closer to our, our, our ideal practice. So it's a culture, you know, you're working, you're bringing things in, you're eliminating certain things, you're applying them, you're seeing how they work and you're following the process. So it's, in, Krishna consciousness is very proactive. It's not like you just mechanically go through the words and the activities and expect to get the results. Does that help? Yes, Guru Maharaj, very much. Thank you so much. You have to have patience, because if you don't have patience. I'll read you something, if you'd like. Yes, please. I'll read it for everyone's benefit. This is from uh, Shiva Ram Maharaj's latest book, Sankal uh, Sankalpa Kumudi. And this is a part of the text about Gopal Kumara from the... Uh, here it says, the prime example of following one sankalpa after one sankalpa after another, that means determined vow, is Gopal Kumara. In his search for the world of the universe, the young boy went to, from quest to quest on earth and heaven, in Vaikuta and everywhere in between. Wherever he went for his next voyage, he acquired higher qualification, relevant instruction, and the blessings of superiors. And while he retained the results of each quest, because the results did not match his resolve for Madan Gopal's service, Gopal Kumar prepared for his next step and then the next. An important factor in successful Sankalpa is patience. Once again, Gopal Kumar is a good example. Just how long his journey to Goloka is unclear. But considering that he was both Indra and Brahma, as well as the servant of Mahakala and Lord Narayan, his quest not only took a long time, but also took place beyond the purview of time. The boy persevered nonetheless and was ultimately successful. As the, as the Lord once said to the demigods, with patience and peace, everything can be done. But if one is agitated by anger, the goal is not achieved. Along with patience, a devotee must awaken and sustain the willpower that propels one towards the goal. Since sadhana is uncovering our dormant love, it also uncovers the qualities connected with love, like an extraordinary urgency for it. The development and sustenance of the urgency to succeed, willpower, is achieved by connecting one's external awareness with the internal driving force from this purpose, determination. So you have to be determined and you have to be patient. And that's just exactly what Rupa Goswami recommends for successful execution. Utsaham nishcayam daryat. One has to be enthusiastic, determined, and patient, and has to apply the principles in a determined way. It's not easy. The thing is, we our minds are all over the place. Because our minds are all over the place, we can't focus. Or we focus on too many things, and therefore we can't focus on the things that we should be focusing on. So we have to learn to connect our consciousness with our activities and and you and uh, connect our activities with Krishna. Don't get discouraged, just continue. As the Lord says, with patience and peace, everything can be done. But if one get, becomes agitated, then the goal is not achieved.
Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. It is very helpful. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Uh, so there are two questions. One, Renu Mataji is asking, uh, from which book you have read that um, uh, uh, paragraph from Guru Maharaj? Yes, uh, Shiva Ram Maharaj's latest release called Sankalpa Kumudi. It's a 900 page book. It's just been released. You could probably just go on Shiva Ram Maharaj's different sites and see which one or where you can order the book. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Uh, and uh, there is a question from Janva Mataji. Uh, she is asking, uh, Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory, Shila Prabhupada. Uh, how much consciousness awareness are important? Is sadhana on the bodily or transcendental platform? Sadhana, is on the, sadhana can be performed on the bodily platform, but sadhana is meant to awaken transcendental consciousness. If we're performing sadhana properly, then it's then it's it's on the transcendental platform. If we're not performing it properly, we're mixing in material considerations with it. Then it's affected by one or more of the modes of material energy. So it has to be done according to the instructions given. Mm -hmm. She said, thank you. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Uh, devotees, if you have any other questions, you can ask. Okay. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Um, this is Radha Bhakti speaking, Hari Bol. Um, I just wanted to share something when you were speaking about, you know, don't be discouraged and keep going. I always remember um, what Srila Prabhupada told one of, I think it was maybe one disciple when he was feeling discouraged and he said, you know, Krishna will come and take you back to Godhead, but if he doesn't, don't worry, I have the key to the back door. And so that's always been so encouraging because, um, yeah, sometimes hearing the list of Anarthas can feel a little impossible to conquer. So I just wanted to share that. Yeah, just stay in the process. Stay in the process no matter what Maya throws at you. Don't look for a material solution to everything, anything. Always understand that whatever... Whatever is happening can be rectified through the process of devotional service. We don't need to go outside to somehow or other find some happiness or some, some relief from material suffering. Whatever is coming our way, just accept it, learn how to deal with it, and then stay in the process. Staying in the process is a big term. I mean, that means there's a lot to that statement. In a sense that there is a lot of a lot of things that cover the process, but the essence really is to hear and chant the glories of the Lord. I could read something for you, which is a continuation of what I just read from the um, from Shiva Ram Maharaj's book. It's a statement by Srila Prabhupada in relationship to that. I just need to go get it. I'll be right back.
Here, this is a continuation of what I read. This is by Srila Prabhupada. Unless the basic determination to become successful in Krishna consciousness is there, any type of occupation or any place where you are serving Krishna will similarly become a source of restlessness and troubling to your mind. This is Prabhupada. Therefore, my advice to you is simply this, that you search out in yourself whether that basic determination and faith in our Krishna conscious program is strong in you. And whether if by going here or going there or doing this or doing that, this determination and faith will be enhanced. So that was a statement by Srila Prabhupada. I can give you the reference on that statement. That was a letter to one devotee by Kuntanath, 29 December 1972. We're speaking about determination, willpower. These are the fundamental principles that keep us fixed in our Krishna consciousness. We can't always go by what happens. What is happening in our day-to-day -day life is incidental. We have to stay internal in our mood. And that mood is that we want to achieve ultimately the lotus feet of the Lord in devotion. Because that is the perfection of all activities and the fulfillment of all desires. But what happens around us may be favorable or unfavorable. So uh, if you find yourself in a situation that you're constantly finding it unfavorable. Prabhupada indicates this here. Find that situation where you can execute the process in a favorable way with determination and with faith, he says. So you have to evaluate also whether your situation that you're in is favorable or not favorable to the execution of your devotional service. Not, we can may not always be able to change our situation, but we can adjust it to some degree to make it more favorable. What is that adjustment? Um, regulating our activities and uh, finding what best works for our hearing and chanting. In other words, we might have to see how to increase the quality of our hearing and chanting by adjusting our situation. So a devotional service is really something that you have to be constantly um, aware of whether you're making progress or not. Constantly aware, am I thinking of Krishna or what am I thinking about? Observe your mind. Am I thinking about nonsense? Am I thinking about uh, something that so something happened to me and I'm not uh, happy about it? So I'm just I'm just worried over it or I'm upset over it. In other words, think of Krishna. No matter what situation you're in, keep your consciousness connected to Krishna and devotional service, that's all. Krishna is not only the goal, he's the means to get to the goal at the same time. He's gonna bring you to the goal. The goal is his lotus feet, but he's gonna bring you according to how you execute your devotional service. As he says, uh, as you approach me, I reciprocate accordingly. Krishna's going to see how much we want he, he we want him as opposed to what we what we are looking towards in this material world. Is he the most important thing, or is he somewhere amongst all of the things that we do, or is he somewhere on the side?
धन्यवाद प्रणाम गुरु महाराज हरि बोलिशिया फ्रेंडली रिमाइंडर फॉर द जापा I'm I'm out of it today for Japa. Today I won't be able to do it. Okay, Guru Maharaj, thank you so what much. I, what I what I can do is start everyone off, and then I have to go. Oh, that'll be so wonderful! Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, is there any more questions? no questions guru maharaj but i just wanted to say thank you that uh, your class has always been really wonderful and very helping actually it just always remind us that how much we need to you know remember krishna and uh, uh, have a desire to go back and just uh, achieve his lotus feet uh, so thank you for reminding us every time that uh, that desire has to be very strong to go back thank you mm-hmm. Okay so we can begin chanting a little bit and I can't stay with you because I I'm pressed for time here um it's just a certain situation okay so ready everyone get ready grab your beads sit correctly and uh pray to the holy name pray to lord chaitanya pray to sila prabhupad Pray to your spiritual master, Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sivasiddhi Gaur Bhakti Vinda Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Rama, Rama Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Rama, Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. 